back to the question Jim was asking about his description of the being at the kosher deli in Paris as being a, ra a, a bunch of a randomly shoot a bunch of folks in a deli of Paris. I mean, this was not a random shooting of a bunch of folks in a deli in Paris. This was an attack on a kosher deli. Does the president have any doubt that those terrorists attacked that deli because there would be Jews in that deli? Well, John, if, if, I, it is clear from the, the, the terrorists and some of the writings that they put out afterwards what their motivation was. Uh, the adverb that the president chose uh, was used to indicate that the individuals who were killed in that terrible, tragic incident were killed not because of who they were, but because of where they randomly happened were, to be. They, they weren't killed because they were in a Jewish deli, though? They were in a no, kosher John, deli? These individuals were not targeted by name. This is not the point. by name, but by, by religion, were they not? Well, John, I, the, there were people other than just Jews who were in that that deli. Do you see any doubt it was a, that deli was attacked because it was a kosher deli? This no, was John. Any I, random deli. No, John, it was I, a kosher deli. I answered the question once. No. Just, Ed. So then why didn't the president acknowledge that? If he knows that and it's obvious, why didn't he say that? The he had a long... The president has acknowledged that on, on many occasions when he's had the opportunity to speak about this incident. But, but he didn't there. He, and in terms of the media hype, do you think a Jordanian pilot being burned alive is just the media hyping something? Uh, Ed, we've talked uh, on a number of occasions, and certainly I've had the opportunity uh, as recently as at the end of last week, uh, to talk about how the United States of America stands shoulder to shoulder with our partners in Jordan as they confront uh, the terrible tragedy of seeing one of their military pilots who is ser serving and defending that country uh, be killed in such a brutal, inhumane way. Uh, I do think it exposes the uh, bankrupt ideology of ISIL, and I think it is a pretty clear illustration of how the international community has been galvanized to take on this threat, a threat uh, that the president has led the creation of this international coalition uh, to confront, degrade, and ultimately destroy. But if it's a big threat that this international coalition is confronting, why did the president compare himself to a big city mayor fighting crime? Well, Ed, I, I think what the president is talking about is he's talking about the necessity of assuming some leadership. Uh, and the president has stepped forward. Again, we've got 60 members of this broader coalition. Uh, and those people are, those countries are members of this coalition because of the leadership of this president. Uh, and the president has succeeded in leveraging the influence of the United States of America to build this coalition and even uh, to get uh, uh, countries in the region uh, to fly alongside American military air uh, pilots as they're carrying out airstrikes against ISIL targets. Right, but he wasn't talking about the coalition back on the mayor. He said, I'm sort of like a big city mayor. Is that the president trying to downplay the threat? Mm -hmm. And I, 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 the president devotes significant periods of his day on a regular basis to confronting uh, the threat that is posed by ISIL, uh, by Al Qaeda affiliates, and by other organizations around the globe that seek to do harm to the American people. The point that the president made, uh, and I will uh, restate, uh, is that the president certainly has a responsibility to take these threats seriously. And there are significant resources that are dedicated to protecting the American people. But when it comes to the American people's level of concern and the amount of risk that they face, uh, it is clearly different than the kind of risk that the American people face